I'm just trying to get rich, you can't even blame me for trying, yeah Every day another dollar made, every day a nigga dying, yeah Same hoes, cause they real, be the same bitches lying, yeah Hit the mall with the whole gang, and we don't care what we buying, yeah She's shaking her ass on the floor, I tell her get low, throw a stack when she drop it What? It's your boy Savage Mike TV, and I am here with another video. Now listen, check me out. As y'all can see by the title, a new year is near. You feel me? This is just a motivational video slash a quick little reminder that January the 1st is literally one month from now. It's literally run one month from now. It's basically my new year's video. The reason I'm making this video a month in advance is because of this. I believe actions speak louder than words. And I also believe that if you talk too much, you can take away your own blessings, you feel what I'm saying? That's my own belief system, you feel me? So what I want everybody to do right now in the comment section, name one goal that you want to achieve for 2023. Don't speak on how you're going to do it or why this is your goal. Just name one goal, not, not two, not three. One goal that you want to achieve next year, you feel what I'm saying? But to piggyback off of what I just said, I believe actions speak louder than words. So right now, I'm giving y'all this quick motivational video and I'm telling y'all, a little bit about the grind that I'ma hop on next year. But January the 1st, I'm not saying nothing. I'm only on my fucking grind. I want all of y'all to only be on y'all grind. Don't wait till January the 1st to start cutting niggas off. Yeah, I'ma change, man, this, that, that. No, bro. It's, it's December the 1st right now. You have a month to cut off whoever the fuck you need to cut off. You need you have a month to set your goals. You have a month to prepare your mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Next year, niggas is going to war. That's another thing I wanna say. I want everybody, everybody who support me, Savage My TV. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You feel what I'm saying? This lit over here. Plus, look at my face. Sexiest nigga in the world. You hear me? I want all of y'all to go into 2023 with a chip on y'all shoulder. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be a serious grind. I want everybody to be really dedicated to a serious grind. A hard grind. Do shit that make you uncomfortable and do shit that is very hard. You feel what I'm saying? Nothing about the grind is happy. Nothing about the grind is easy. You feel what I'm saying? Treat this shit like boot camp. Everybody knows you go into boot camp as a weakling, you come out strong as shit. But nothing about boot camp is fucking exciting at all. So that's how I want everybody to look at just hopping on your own grind in 2023. Go into this battlefield. You feel what I'm saying? Into this motherfucker alone by yourself. Ain't nothing happy about the grind. Don't tell niggas, yeah, bro, I'm ready to start rapping. I'm ready to start YouTube. I'm ready to start business. Oh, I'm ready to start my, my eyelash business or whatever. I don't know why I changed my voice for that shit. No homo. Start, start whatever. Bit. Don't tell nobody nothing that you're doing. Go into this motherfucker with a chip on your shoulder and get the job done. Let your actions speak louder than words. Don't tell nobody you hitting the gym. Wait till a motherfucker compliment you. Damn, bro, you getting swole. Yeah, I've been at the gym. You heard me. But the reason I say go into 2023 with a chip on your shoulder is because y'all got to understand. I, and hey, y'all don't have to take my advice. I'm only 20 years old. You feel what I'm saying? But I, I've been through a lot of shit for a 20 year old. You feel what I'm saying? Got, got my own whip, got my own crib and shit. Grew up in Baltimore. Got to provide for my family and shit like that. Listen, I don't got the hardest life in the world. I'm not trying to make it seem like I come from the trenches, no shit like that. But. Life is tough, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all gotta understand that life don't get easier. Life is only gonna get harder. So whatever you're going through right now, next year, don't, oh, I'm gonna be grinding, I'm gonna be better in six months, I'm gonna be strong. No, bro. Wherever you're gonna be at six months from now, it's not that life got easier. It's because you got stronger. Life don't get easy, it gets harder. But you get stronger. That's the only reason why you're able to keep on or keep, yeah, keep tagging along. This year, 2023, we is not letting nothing stop the grind at all. I don't give a fuck if you're dealing with relationship problems. I don't give a fuck if somebody pass away. I don't give a fuck you got fired, anything. We not letting nothing stop the grind. Because we going into 2023 understanding that it's a lot of trials and tribulations upon us a lot of bad shit is right happening so next year 2023 fucking 30 31 days from now we already prepared for it i can only speak for me because i don't i mean i don't know y'all niggas personally whatever i can only speak for me as far as me as far as my youtube grind because I, I ain't i ain't gonna lie to you this might make a lot of y'all mad or whatever 
YouTube is not my passion. I do this shit because it's fun or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? But it, it, I still count it as one of my grinds. My YouTube grind. It's a lot of times this year where y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. A nigga was consistent hella days in a row to stop. Consistent couple days in a row to stop. It's like, I always be stopping because I be letting my real life really affect my mindset and really dictate the decisions that I make and just whatever I do, you feel what I'm saying? But that's not how the real world work, you feel me? If you got rent, dude, and you work in a job, you can't, oh, my girl broke up with me. I'm not going to work today. Bro, life don't work like that because them niggas going to knock on your door and they going to have hella movers pulling your shit out, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't not go to work. You can't just not grind because of the way you feel. You feel what I'm saying? In this world, as I was ready to say as a man, but like if it's ladies watching as well. When I say as a man, I'm just talking about as a human, not just literally men, because like for the ladies watching. As a man in this world, you have no choice but to grind. Laziness and putting your feelings and getting all sad and emotional, that shit is not an option at all. Times are getting hard. It's going to get even fucking harder. So you got to get stronger. So right now, so that you can have a successful year. And I'm not saying that shit is not going to happen. I'm not saying you're not going to hop off the ground because nobody in this world is perfect. Niggas not Jesus, you get what I'm saying? But right now is the time to prepare. Just get your mindset right. Get your soul right. Get your heart right. Get your body right. Get any Whatever you need to get right, get that shit right now. So that on January the 1st, that is the first day. Honestly, I would like for niggas to start right now. Like, as soon as you see this video, start now, the next day or whatever. But January 1st, the first day of the grind. That is a war zone. That is boot camp. That is a fucking zombie apocalypse. It is hell. Whatever, whatever you look at is the worst of the worst. Hell, anything. That's what January the 1st is when you start in your grind. Move with a purpose. No more laziness. It's somebody out there wishing they was in the position that you in right now. We not wasting time. We not taking time for granted. Any obstacles or trials or tribulations that you come across this year. We not complaining and venting and crying about it. You can cry, but Go somewhere, cry by yourself. Because your brother, when I say your brother, your fellow human being, your brother is going through shit too. You is not about to put your bullshit and your baggage onto this person. Deal with that shit yourself. We heal ourselves naturally. None of that, oh, I'm depressed. I need antidepressants. No, bro, that is bullshit. I don't give a fuck what your doctor prescribe you with. Niggas is not looking in a microscope and seeing fucking depression cells, bro. No, you're not fucking depressed. If you was rich as fuck and you could fuck any girl in this world you want and go any, just do anything you want in this world, you would not be fucking depressed. That is your fucking mindset. You gotta fix it. Fix your mentality, bro. You're not depressed. Don't let nobody tell you you're depressed. You can heal yourself. No slacking. No crying and complaining. My mother calls me right now. But I'm in the middle of the ground. No, I'm playing. This is my mother. I gotta answer the phone. All right, where was I? No slacking. No crying and complaining. Don't let anybody belittle you. And you damn sure do not belittle yourself. Don't, if you working out, don't look at a swole nigga in the gym. Damn, I'll never be like, yo. But don't look at your favorite rappers and see how they living that rich lifestyle and be like, damn, I'll never live like, yo, he living a dream. No, bro, you can do the same thing. You just gotta put that fucking work in. Stop being a little ass bitch. No hating on one another, neither. You feel what I'm saying? So even if you're not belittling yourself, don't look at no other motherfucker. Man, y'all only got this because of this, or y'all only got that because of that. No, bro, God dealt you your fucking cards. Whatever position you win, it's for you to get out of that position. Don't look at no other person position. Oh, he only got this because he's from the suburbs, or this person doing this. Bro, no, bro. You got your fucking cards that you was dealt. Play your cards right. Do what you need to do. Stop paying attention to other motherfuckers. Also, this year, nigga, hey. We finding ourselves, whatever whatever religion you in, or if you're not even in a religion, 
this year, try to get closer to God somehow. If you don't believe in God, then whatever, whatever you feel like you need to do to be the most righteous person in this world, just make sure you get that shit done. Be kind to each other. Be humble as well. That's another thing I want to say. Definitely be fucking humble. Do not speak on nothing. Be humble. If you start rapping and your fucking first ever song you ever dropped get to 5,000 views. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to make it out of Milwaukee, bro. I'm dragging on you bum ass nigga. No, bro, be humble about that shit. Appreciate, appreciate the fact that niggas is tuning into your shit and thank God. That's it. Don't, we not bragging about nothing. Our actions are speaking louder than the words. If a nigga's going to hate on us, fuck him. Nigga, if a nigga going to hate on you, look at that as shit. Well, that's. I ain't bragging, yo hating. Look at it like that. We not bragging. We being humble. We not putting nobody down. Don't put nobody down. Cause like I said, it's so listen, in this world, life gets harder. It's not gonna get easier. So many people's going through so much shit. We not putting nobody down. We not being no negative people. So basically this year niggas is being fucking righteous, being kind to one another, being humble. We not slacking. We not complaining. We getting the job done. We finding God. I forgot the other ones, but shit, y'all can go back because y'all niggas watching the video. You feel what I'm saying? But listen, I ain't going to make this video too long. Listen, I, I'm ready to make some reaction videos right now. You feel me? I ain't ready to tell y'all which reaction I'm ready to make, but <clears throat> shit. See, see, look, there you go right there. You watching my grind. Nigga, watch your own shit. The fuck? Now, let me stop. But hey, I love y'all niggas. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Happy New Year's, and I'm gone. Subscribe to Savage Mike TV. My nigga. <laughs> Right back to the shit that guy nigga here. I ain't never gonna quit, nigga. This my year. Thought I was gonna flop. Not this year. I got shit that a lot of real niggas need to hear. I done learned so much over this past year. I done been through so much. I don't even care. Used to eat cold cuts, now five star meals. Used to steal from my mother, now I'm with the bills. And I'm still in the field. Still get a nigga killed if she ain't my bitch. I don't care how she feel. I'm getting rich. You ain't never gonna.